All right, guys, so this video is what I'm going to show you something really cool that you can do with Google Sheet, and that is using my SQL or just simply put SQL statements in here and use it and create some really powerful uh, presentations, data flow calculations and all, all that good stuff. Hey guys, welcome to Core with Mark where I share helpful videos to help you become a professional web developer a lot faster. If you are interested in learning how to become a professional web developer a lot faster and learn technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, MongoDB, MySQL, and others that are gonna help you create amazing, awesome web development app, do consider subscribing to the channel. So let's start off with doing it manually first. So let's say for example, I'll put a folder in here and I want to know how many uh, rows there are for column E. So I'll just filter for only, let's just say female. And then I'll go here, do a count. I got 98 in here and that's doing it manually, obviously. Right. And then if I want to know how many country code for the column, this, how many U.S. Uh, rows do I have for here? So I do this and then 128. And that's something seems maybe seems very simple to you. But when you see this, the next step, what I'm going to show you, you're going to be like, holy cow, you could you really use this. So let's say, or I just want to give you a quick reminder that I have this special gift that's going to help you that you can get it at this URL. Don't forget to get it. And don't worry, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to make it easier. All right, now back to your video. Doing the same exact thing. We'll just create another sheet. And here we don't have to do anything other than just in column. So actually sell a1 write this statement which i'll put it in here and don't worry i will leave a link in the description in which you can copy and paste this into your thing but for the most part i'll walk you through it so that way you can add that into your google sheets project so the first parameter and what it is this is function called query and the first parameter it uses what range you want to use and so in this case this is the data which is the sheet name and the range is A1 through H and H being however number of rows that A you will have on that particular sheet, it will calculate it as unlike your Microsoft Excel, which you have to specify how many rows you wanna go down. And this one, you just leave it at that and Google Sheets will automatically take that in consideration and do the calculation based on that. So moving on, the next parameter is your S SQL statement. I'm just using something simple, which is select all the columns where column H in this case will be your country code equal US. And that is that once I do that, it will automatically only show me country code that is US. So for example, right now there are 128 rows. So if I go back here, this is where the magic will happen. If I go back here and let's say at the bottom, all the way at the bottom, so these are two rows and I delete these two rows. So before I do that, just to give you an idea, this is that 128. If I delete this, it will automatically update it to, to 126. As you can see how powerful it is, you write this code one time and set it and forget it and they will Google Sheet will take care of the rest for you. And I'll just undo this and it will, you will see when I come back here, it will automatically add these two automatically. Like that's how cool is that, right? So let's just do another one for gender. So same concept, only differences. And here I'm saying column E equal male. So which will be this and it automatically does it for me. But that's something very basic. You're like, Mark, this is great. That's something really basic. It's nice, but why? This is something I could do it manually, right? You can't, but however, if you have, let's say a thousand upon thousand rows and you wanna just 
create these filters, lack of a better word, and it will automatically do it. But let's just not stop there. Let's take it one step further, which is doing some mass uh, calculations. So let me just clean this out for you. And we'll go over here, which is another SQL statement in Google Sheet. Let me put it over here, put it here. It's a little more complex. If you use the writing of SQL statement, you know exactly what this is. Basically what that says, uh, same data set, select column G, where the count, your, which would be the ID, and then group it by the column G, which in this case is your country name. So in this case, in Australia, there are three records, 70 for this and 127 for this. And you probably notice that like this is a counter ID. The reason why that shows up is because the column ID, it just takes it and then puts it at that. However, if you do not want that, and if you're like me, you're like, man, this is nice, but I have this blank row and I don't want it here because it doesn't look very appealing to the eye and if i give it to my user they were like what the hell is this crap i don't like it and that shouldn't be there so what the next step is this in google sheets and query function they also give you this additional function which you can filter and then also let me just click right here so let's go here so which you can so it's a let's go over here so let's go further 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 Go here. So same concept. So you got your date range, select, in this case will be column E, which is gender, and we're counting the total number of records for column A, which is ID, where gender equals no also. Because if I look at over here, country, I could apply the same code and say where country is null don't include that. So what that's gonna do is gonna take that record out and it will completely separate it. And also you can use this next fun uh, functionality, which is label. So we could say count, which would be this, and then call it a total, which instead of saying count ID, it's just gonna say total. And then your column E, which is your gender, I'm just gonna call it gender, or just show you that it will work. I'll just call it gender uh, one, two, three and then it will put gender one, two, three. So, so far, if you're like, holy cow, Mark, this is so cool. I can definitely apply this into my project. But what I wanna do is I wanna do one better for you. One last thing I wanna do. And you are gonna be like, holy cow, which is creating filters for your query sheet. So for example, we already created a, these two rows. So what if we want to give our user the ability at the drop down box to say, pick one of these and then run a query based on that rather than we are specifically telling them this is the case. So let's go over here. So if you don't know how to do a drop down box, what you do is just click any one of them, any one of the cells. So I'll click over here, go to data, then go to data validation. And from here you want to click from list from range and from here you select it you come over here you select these two click ok click save and then you go back here then this becomes your drop down box and that is great so i'll just go over here and i'll just come here and I'll just say remove it because I don't want it. So in here, what you can do is you have two options. You have females and male, only because these are two options that we have here. So if we pick, let's say male, and then it's gonna go and only show us the records for the male. And this is where you can literally take it to the next level. So let's say if you have a sales data and you are creating it, this particular functionality using the SQL statement into your Google Sheet and you can say sort by department and then show me only department X, Y, and Z and what is their data. And each department can look through it just by this drop down box. They will love you for it. And that is that. So how do you create that? So what do you do is go over here. 
let's see and i'll just go further da, 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 da. come over here so it's the same query function same range only difference is i'm saying select all where column e and then we're going to pass in the parameter which would be the reference to b1 so whatever the value in b1 is you want to put it in here and then it's going to search for it right so that's becomes powerful and you could not only do that for like the one of them parameters you could do it for multiple parameters so let's just say for giggles only right i'll just put us here for that matter and then what i'll do is go over here and then i'm gonna say we're equal to this and uh column h equal uh which would be the reference point of this. And then it's gonna show me all of the gender that are male and country code is US and then that is that. That's how cool is that. So let's just change it to female and then it becomes that. And if you wanna change it this to, let's just say, I don't know, uh, what is it, CA? Then it becomes CN and it's instantaneously updated. And you probably notice on this right over here, this counter will change as well. And this is just a simple uh, formula that you could put in here. So in this case, it takes two parameters. It's a function called uh, count. And by the way, you will see this question mark. If you click on it, it will give you a reference point of what it is what. So, <clears throat> In this case, the counter, it takes two parameters, which is the one column, second column, and then it will give you the total count of that. So let's say right now we have 34 females in Canada. And then if we change it, now it becomes to 38. So if I change this to US, and then it becomes 65 male, and then females, we have 62. It's so powerful, so powerful. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. You could do a lot more than this in your Google Sheet with the SQL statement. What else can you do? You can literally use your uh, app script, which is going through, where is it? Sometimes they move it here, right over here. And I will leave a link, link in the description for you in which you can use external URL, pull that data from it, and then put it, let's just say over here in the data sheet. And then based on the data that you pulled, you can create further all of these wonderful, amazing data sets that you can use for furthering your particular uh, project. And hopefully this was helpful to you. If you did find it helpful, do consider subscribing to the channel. If you feel like there is something that I missed, leave a comment in the description box. So that way, or in the comment section, not in the description, what I will do is I will leave a link in the description for you so you can follow these, uh, these, these formulas in here. And also I will leave a link in the description for you, which is to the Google uh, help guide whatever for this particular function only that you can go check it out for yourself and do more of these cool things so all right guys i hope you enjoyed this and until next time happy coding i'll talk to you in the next video all right man, i just want to give you a quick reminder that i have this special gift that's going to help you that you can get it at this url don't forget to get it and don't worry i'm gonna leave a link in the description for you to make it easier